Welcome to a video from TheNinjaSlifestyle.com In this video we're going to look at the Netgear Powerline 500 which is a power over, or Ethernet over power solution So imagine that you have um, an area in your house that Wi-Fi won't reach or you don't want to use Wi-Fi, you can't use Wi-Fi and you don't want to run cables everywhere The idea behind these devices is you, you plug them in and it carries the Ethernet using your existing power line in your house so previously I've uh, reviewed a few of these and uh, recently the network performance has been improved on these new devices. So what I'll do is I'll plug these in and uh, we'll see if it works and if it does what kind of uh, speed we can get copying files around. So in the box you get the uh, two network leads and the two plugs. So these are the uh, two devices. They pretty much look identical actually. So the idea behind is from your router at home you can plug an ethernet cable in there so that's one end and at the other you can plug another device in via ethernet or you can plug another switch in or a hub or something like that and uh, and then have multiple devices plugged into it for this test we'll probably just try uh, one device so what i need to do now is go and plug that into my router via the provided cable I should also point out as well, this has got a socket on it, so while it's taking a socket, uh, you can plug other things into it, so it's not actually using the whole socket, you can plug other things along on your on the power, so it's not actually using the whole power socket up, which is very handy. So now I've got this PC here connected via Ethernet and the Powerline 500, so one here uh, which I'm plugged into and one which is directly connected to my router, which has got a PC connected to it. Uh, via Ethernet as well. So what I'm going to do is try copying one of these video files over and we'll see what kind of transfer speed we get. So there you can see we're getting uh, nearly 10 meg a second um, over that so we're getting good transfer speeds on that and it was really interesting to compare that over Wi-Fi. I've got uh, Wi-Fi enabled as well currently switched off but what I'll do is I'll enable the Wi-Fi and we'll compare that uh, for um, for transfer speeds. What I can tell you with this, that this is going to be absolutely fine for Skype or for video streaming, HD video streaming. So, if you've got a device that's not Wi-Fi enabled, like in, say a server, uh, you can, and you've only got um, and you've, you've no option to use Wi-Fi, you can plug that into the into it, and and then uh, you can have your clients somewhere else, like an Xbox or something like that, and stream video to it, or a Raspberry Pi, or anything you want using this saving you to have to sort out wireless and you can just network enable and plug in anything in your home so now I'm copying the exact same file over Wi-Fi and um, varying sort of two three four uh, four megaseconds so obviously not as fast as we we're using it over power line and the other thing is um, you might not have the range to use Wi-Fi as well so this gives you really a better option when you to use the power line. So, as you can see, very, very simple to plug in and connect up. It's already got plug sockets on it, so it's not even taking a socket up. Plug one in next to your router, plug one in wherever you want Ethernet, and uh, job done, you've got a good Ethernet connection. And um, This it seems to be uh, work really well. As you can see, Wi-Fi is running slower. So obviously Wi-Fi boosters and other technologies you can use and running a, a physical Ethernet cable is probably the best option. But if you haven't got that option, these power lines are definitely worth look, looking at. So that's a very quick look at the Netgear Powerline 500 uh, power uh, Ethernet over power kit adapters, uh, two of those in one box. So uh, more details and price and everything links go with the video. More videos from the on our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.